what's up guys uh clown prince there so i'm not sure if this is going to be a different video or part two but right now i'm taking apart my uh the world heavyweight commemorative um oh, sorry guys my bad yeah taking apart this one the commemorative <clears throat> uh like i said unlike the other one i don't know if just because this is not an official wwe like off the site shop one i bought this one at toys r us so it has these rivets but i looked a couple i looked up a couple reviews of like actual ones from the shop and it looks like it's the same thing so all i did was same thing as the women's one i grabbed my uh calm dykes die cutters whatever and just kind of pushed it down squeeze it up together and popped them off <clears throat> six of them and the side plate came off like this pretty much like this so it's three pieces back plate there's no screws on this one so back plate diamonds or gems and the front plate so uh the main difference with this one and the other one as well or besides the screws is uh the actual back plates the side plates you're gonna have to it's gonna have to be a different hole like i mean for example so here's the undertaker plate or just I like this will be the same for any side plate so on, on the other one the holes lined up perfectly in the back so with this one obviously it doesn't you guys can see that let me see so if you guys can see that here are the holes that came the rivets off and here is a side plate so obviously you're gonna have to drill new holes for the um, the side plate to fit through so probably gonna line that up later as of right now all I'm really gonna do to be honest is just uh, cut away this circle part right here and then line it up on the second or third layer and see where it fits from there and then once this plate is on I'll put the that side plate in and kind of see kind of give it a good guesstimate of where these holes will be like I said nobody's gonna see the back part besides me when I put on the belt you know um, but if it, I guess if it comes out horrible I could just kind of put something over it but like I said this is just kind of cheap alternatives for you guys so uh, yeah that's it so far and I'm start probably taking part of these and then uh, we'll go from there so keep you guys updated what's up you guys conference Dara. Um so I am giving you guys the final update and final product of my uh, side plates for the commemorative belt for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship so without further ado let's get right into it so here it is, finally all done. Um, this is still the commemorative. You guys can hear the plastic. It's not my replica. Um, so yeah, here is the side plate, and then boom, take it off. So sorry I couldn't record this part, guys. I took this to work, and I actually had time to do it there. So um, like I posted in the video a little bit before, this came out in three pieces, right? You have the reflective part, you have the diamond part, and you have this gold part. So like I did in the, the universal one, I just cut out the circle where the side plate would go. Now underneath that, you're gonna have a, it's like a cross pattern for the uh, diamonds part. All you do is cut that as well. You just gonna you can put that in, kind of trace around it, and cut, and then just same thing with this. I use the Dremel, so just cut a little bit inside and then start sanding it out and just be very patient. A little bit time consuming, but it's worth it, guys. You don't want to have like a big old gap over here. As you guys see, I can kind of scratch up a little bit on the outside, but that was my fault because I was just kind of rushing it so take your time uh, now what I didn't do was I didn't cut through this reflective part uh, I actually left it because if you guys remember uh, earlier in the video when I did the uh, universal one there was a little gap for the Finn Balor plate right so with this it actually sits right there and it actually fits up pretty good it does have a little lip um, you know but it doesn't look that bad it doesn't look as bad as you know the universal one where you can see the inside it really does it sticks up maybe just a little bit you can feel the lip um, but it's not too bad. So all I did was that all I did with this one was just cut circles where um, The plate, you know the little holes would go So then once that was done I came back to my room uh, I post I put it through the belt and Like I told you guys in the same one the universal This one you I would have to make my own holes We already kind of figured that out because you know, it wasn't lining up. So when I was cutting uh, through the three layers I had to cut this rivet right here you have to cut it off because that's it gets pretty close to the edge so it, it just has to come off 
So this hole I made, um, this one, yeah, so these two I made was for this. Um, it's just really easy. You just get the Dremel, like a little spike, and you just start Dremeling it in and start making the circle. And then, yeah, it's a little bit messy because you have to go through the little cardboard and whatever else is in here. But at the end, it just fit perfectly. Um, now, as you guys can tell, I didn't use the rivets again for this one. They're still on there. I just, instead of putting glue on, like it did in my, uh, the one for the women's one for my girlfriend, I used screws. Um, the size I used were these ones. They are six by three and eighth inch. Uh, and it's the sheet metal screws. I'll make sure to post, put this in the description. This is like a dollar seventeen or something like that. Not not expensive at all. So get sixteen of these. Uh, this is the perfect size right here, number six. And then I got number eight washers. To be honest, you could probably use the same washers we used for the universal one. I just wanted to be safe, so you could probably use them both just to save you know a buck or two. That was like a dollar something also. Um, and then all you do is you just uh, you put the screw. Uh, through the washer and then you put the the screw inside of the the little rivet and you just start screwing down now make sure that when you do do it you get it snug and then it's a quarter of a turn after that because you don't want to tear through the actual rivet you try you're making the threads yes on the inside but if you keep turning it and try to get it super tight it's just going to rip it and it's going to break and it's not going to be good and you're going to be stuck without it so just get it snug and a little turn after that uh i have five here for the you know actual plate like the little yeah the actual plate and then you're gonna have your two here for the actual side plate so this side's already done so it's gonna look like this on this side right so one two three four five and then the two for your side plate now i understand it's not the prettiest thing to look at in the back but to be honest it saves you 250 60 dollars whatever you want to say from getting a world one so i don't mind looking at it if you if the bugs are that bad you guys can get black marker and probably paint it on or whatever yourself but look at these rivets these are white so it doesn't matter and to be honest unless you're holding it over your shoulder at a show no one's really going to see this you're either going to wear it on your waist throw it over your shoulder or you're going to have it on a wall so not that big of a deal at least not to me uh one of the problems was though with the universal belt i did use these screws so 4m by 0.7 times six millimeter. Uh, these are too short. The The belt on this is actually a little bit thicker. Um, so I actually just, it's, it's the same size and everything, uh, or the same thread, it's just longer. It's a 10 mil instead of a six mil. So yeah, it's just so you can reach it, um, or so you can reach the um, back of the plate through the belt and then just go, same thing. That was like a dollar something also. Um, trying to think if there's anything else guys, trying to keep this video kind of short to be honest. That's pretty much it. Um, after that, like I said, it's not that bad at all. Uh, cause like I said, I use these because uh, when my girlfriend put on her belt, um, even though these were glued on, um, when she put it on her waist, you know, it would bend like this and then it started poking through. So I'm gonna have to go back with her belt and use these screws to put it on. So to make sure, you know, it doesn't, they don't pop off. So I definitely recommend that. Like I said, don't go too crazy on the tightness. Just get it snug and that's it. So uh, here is the belt. You guys can see it's still, it, it's, it's good guys. I mean, if I could do it, you guys can do it. I'm not anything special and I don't have any special tools. I seriously just use a Dremel and I just wanted to be, <laughs> to save money to be honest. Main difference between this belt and the replica belt, obviously yes, the weight and the material. But main thing is you can put side plates on. So now hopefully I saved you guys money. I know I saved myself money. Uh, so you guys can, um, what's it called? Uh, you know, buy plates and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought it came out pretty good. Um, uh, definitely be posting more videos. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I know I'm gonna repolish, not repolish, but reshine up some of my belts. Um, and uh, we'll see what else, what other projects I do. My brothers are coming down this weekend. Uh, we're getting ready to go to RAW on Monday for LA, uh, LA Staples Center and then uh, SmackDown uh, San Diego Tuesday. So make sure to post videos about that um, and then we'll see you know, what else happens. But if you guys have any questions, comments, anything at all guys, seriously, any way I can help, any suggestions, anything, you guys please let me know. I'm here to help. I love wrestling. 
since I was a kid, it's one of the main things that hold me and my brothers together, to be honest. So I'm really passionate about it. Um, and any way I can help you guys kind of get this, um, just let me know. Any questions, concerns, comments, anything, you guys. So um, I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to look at this video. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully it saves you guys money as well. Um, and then hopefully I'll see you guys at, you know, Raw or SmackDown. So, um, yeah, see how it is, guys. And I appreciate everything and hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.